Hey guys, it's Sai. Welcome back to my channel. I know I just posted a video last night, but like I said, I'm gonna start trying to post videos twice a week. So let's get started. I'm gonna be doing the 50 questions tag that was requested by one of my friends, Emma. So if I'm not looking directly at the camera, it's because I wrote the questions down. So the first question is, what is my full name? My full name is Sarah Jane Lightbody. Uh, it's not spelled Jane like J-A-N-E. It's spelled J-A-Y-N-E, which is British. I'm named after my great grandma. So yeah, uh, two zodiac sign. I am a Cancer. My birthday is July 14th. So I'm a Cancer. Uh, three fears. Okay. So they're kind of weird. One is burning. Like fires. Burning to death. That scares me. Especially with all the fires that have been recently started in California. My prayers go out to all those people affected. But I have a fear of fires. Spiders. Hate spiders. Don't like spiders. And then I have a fear of drowning. Even though, like, I like the ocean and everything, I still have a mass fear of drowning. Um, three things I love. Makeup, obviously. Um, I like reading. And this might be weird, but I actually like school. A lot of people hate school, but I genuinely like school. I like learning and trying to better my education. So, um... Oh, who's in my squad? Okay. So I have a couple of girls in my squad. Obviously me. Duh. My sister, Susie. Y'all probably know her. If you don't, she's my sister. She's got a YouTube channel too. Susie Lightbody. Um, Sarah. There's two Sarahs in my squad. Yeah, we lit. Serena. And then there's Emma and Emily. So there's six girls in my squad. We lit. Uh, four turn-ons in a... Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Last song I listened to. The last song I listened to was, I think, Last Christmas by Ariana Grande. Either that or Santa Tell Me by Ariana Grande. I've been recently, like, binge listening to her Christmas albums. So, uh, four turn-ons in a guy. Um... Yeah, um, tall. I like tall guys. Caring, honest, and trustworthy. Turn offs in a guy. Cocky, um, rude, disrespectful, and, well, I think rude and disrespectful kind of go together. So, um, inappropriate I hate when people act immature or inappropriate and fuck boy like totally fake like when you know they're not genuine like kind of like a fuck boy but that yeah uh color of my underwear oh that's weird um but white uh tattoos and piercings I have one tattoo it's on my wrist it says, once upon a time. I got it last summer. It means, like, new beginnings. Because, like, I'm graduating this year, going to college. So, I got that memory. And then, I have my cartilage pierced. And I want to get the rest of my cartilage pierced. Um... The reason I joined YouTube... The reason I joined YouTube is because, sorry, my sister has a YouTube channel, and I'm always watching YouTube videos, like, it's a thing I do, I watch YouTube videos, and a lot of the YouTubers I watch, they're, like, we're talking about, like, how people should start a YouTube channel, because they can grow from it, and I just started, like, a couple of months ago, I think, I think maybe three, four months ago, and... 
I really like it. Like, I enjoy talking to the camera. I enjoy, like, my makeup tutorials. Showing the thing, like, the things I do that I can share with others. So they can improve on, like, makeup or, like, whatever. I don't know. I just, I think it's fun. Um, how I feel right now. Honestly, I feel the happiest I've been in a long time. And I think that's just because, like, this year I took the time to realize who my true friends are. And if they weren't a true friend or if I felt they were really fake and petty, I cut them out. Like, it's hard to do, but, like, it's for me. Like, it, it's not selfish to think about who you surround yourself with. So me cutting those people out of my life helps me better. It doesn't make me feel as guarded around those people. Because now, like, the six girls I mentioned, like, those are my best friends in the world. I can, tr well, five, I'm not counting me. I can trust those girls with anything. So I feel like those five people I have, that's all I need. Like, in college, if that changes, that's fine. But right now, of this moment, those five girls, my sister, Emma, Emily, Sour, and Serena, those five girls, they're all I need. Sorry for that little rant. Um... Something I really want. College applications. I sent in my college applications and I just want to get accepted to college. Like all of my friends, they've been accepted. Some of them have even committed to schools and I haven't gotten one acceptance letter. So that's what I really want. I want my top school to accept me. Which is Montclair State. If anyone's watching, hit me up. Probably not watching, but you know. Um, Relationship status. I am single. Yep. Probably gonna be single. A lot. I don't, I don't know. I had a guy who I liked. Told him I liked him. And then he's like, we're seniors in high school. I don't want a relationship. And I was like, okay. So like, I'm single. Uh, meaning behind my YouTube name. My YouTube name, as you know, is Sour2H's Beauty XX. And that's because my friend Sarah, who I mentioned before, I was talking to her and I was like, I really want to start a YouTube channel. And she's like, girl, you should. Like, you're really good at makeup. Like, honestly, you should. I would watch you. And I was like, okay, but I need a name. And that's the first thing she says is Sour with 2 hs Beauty XX. And I was like, there's no reason behind it. But she just said it, and I like it clicked with me, and I was like, yes, like I want that, like that's, that's it, like that's my YouTube name. So there's no reason behind it. It was just like, the name just popped into her head, and she told me, and I was like, that's it, that's it, like I'm done. <laughs> um, favorite movies. I love Disney movies. So, I five, Moana, awesome movie, totally recommend. Beauty and I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast, great film. Tangled, Mulan, and oh, The Little Mermaid. Love The Little Mermaid. Um, favorite songs. Perfect by Ed Sheeran, Cardi B, Bodak Yellow. Um, and then Migos, Cardi B, and I think Nicki Minaj is Motorsport. Those three songs are my jam, are my ish. Um, favorite bands. Don't really listen to bands that much. I'm more of like a one artist type of person. So I'm not really a whole band person, like Fall Out Boy, like, or like a no, or like Five Seconds of Summer. I'm not into like bands, I guess you could say. Things that upset me. Bullies. I hate when people are picking on other people for a flaw they have. Like, I was bullied when I was younger. And I don't, to see someone get bullied online or just bullied in general, I don't know. It just really upsets me because, like, there's no reason for that, you know? There's no reason for you to put someone else down for you to make yourself feel better. Like, there's just no sense in that. Like, that just makes no sense at all. 
So that bothers me. That really upsets me. Um, and people talking shit about people. Okay. So here's a rant. When people talk shit about my friends, even if they were friends at once and they're not friends anymore, you don't talk shit about people. Because then they're just going to talk shit right back. And that's where drama starts. People talking shit. So that upsets me. When people talk shit to me about my friends and the, the conversation has nothing to do with them. Like if I'm fighting with one of my friends, why should my other friend step in and talk shit about them? Like, I don't know. Like, if I'm fighting with someone, I'm fighting with someone. No one should, like, step in and, like... Talk shit. I don't know. I just think talking shit is so petty and so fake. I don't know. There's my rant. This whole video might be rants, so... FYI. Um, three things that make me happy. My friends. My family. And... Musical theater. So, I'm in, like, like performing. Like, I'm in choir at school. I'm in the musical. And, like, just surrounding myself in that energy is just so positive and bubbly. And all of those kids in that department are just so positive and bubbly. And, like, you just vibe off each other. So it's really good. And then, obviously, my squad love those girls to death. Like, ride or dies all the way. My family, obviously. Like, I wouldn't be anywhere without my family supporting me, having my back. Um... What I find attractive in people. Like I said, like, caring, honesty, trustworthy. I really like people who are passionate about something. Like, if you're passionate about something, like, I don't know, that just really... I don't know, I just find that really attractive, I guess. I guess that's a turn-on, too, maybe. Um, someone I miss. My dad. Okay, so, when I was four, unfortunately, my dad passed away. So, like... I know, like, I have some friends who are in the same situation, like a mom or dad or something, but I don't know. Sometimes there's something like, I wish he was here, like, in this moment, like, right now. Like, I could have needed him for this, like, this certain thing. But, yeah, someone I love. My squad. Hashtag squad. I love those girls. My family. Yeah, that, that's more than one person but oh well relationship with my mom i love my mom my mom is so sweet so kind if you guys follow me on instagram she's in a lot of my instagram lives shout out to sour and emma you know those are my girls my mom loves them my mom's name is paula lightbody so when she worked went to work once her manager called her plb and she's like what plb and then she was like, yeah, because he thought light body was two separate words, like light hyphen body. But it's just light body together. So we call her POB, and that's what I call her now. Because a lot of people call their mom, like, by their first name. But I don't do that. I would just call her POB instead of mom. I don't know. It's just a thing. But I love her. Uh, favorite holiday. Um, Christmas. Love Christmas. And to be honest. 4th of July. 4th of July is lit. Like, fireworks, parades. I don't know. I just don't feel like that's anyone's favorite holiday. Like, they're always like, oh, Thanksgiving or Halloween. But I like, like, the holidays no one talks about. Like, Easter or, like, obviously I love Christmas. Or, like, 4th of July. I don't know. I feel like no one talks about those. Like, I love them. Um, longest friend. Um, my first ever friend was I think I was in first grade. Like, I had other friends, but, like, we kind of, like, drifted apart. But my first friend was this girl, Amanda. And I'm still friends with her now, but, like, we're, like, eh. Like, we're not best friends as we were, but we're just, like, friends. Like, good friends. We're, we're good friends. We're not best friends. We're good friends. And I met her in first grade in stony lane i met her yeah in like we had the same teacher for every subject so like whoever our homeroom teacher was i think yeah like the first day or something i like called her the next day and asked for like a play date <laughs> and i was like hey do you want to have a play date she's like sure and she thought i was a completely different girl 
She thought I was this other girl. And I was like, nope, I'm Sarah. <laughs> and she was like, okay, let's hang out. So we just like, watched a movie or something. I don't, or played with her dog or whatever. Um, someone from YouTube I would date. The Dolan Twins. They're my age. I'm 17. I think they're 17. And they're hot. So I would date them. Um, a confession. I suffer from anxiety. Like, a lot of people are like, oh my god, I have anxiety. I'm so anxious right now. But, like, no, like, I truly have anxiety. Like, I overthink things. I overthink everything. I anal... I don't think... No. Like, I overthink everything, no matter what. Like, even if it's a math problem, I overthink it, and even if I know the answer. I'm like, I don't go with my gut. And, like, I have social anxiety, too. So, like... Like, yesterday, at Dunkin' Donuts, I got, um, my mom had a free beverage, and I was like, oh, can I have a large caramel iced latte milk, no sugar? And he, the guy put sugar in it, and I could not go back and say, hey, I said no sugar, but you put sugar in my drink. I, I couldn't do that. I don't know. It's like feeling embarrassed of having to go back. And say, hey, you messed up on my order. Can you get me a new one? I don't know. Like, I was just like, I can't do that. Like, I don't know. Like, I kind of feel embarrassed. Like, I, obviously, he's going to feel embarrassed. Because, like, if he, he didn't listen, I guess. Or he's thought something else. I don't know. It just made me feel all awkward. I'm an awkward person. If you know me in real life, like, I'm an awkward human being. Um, three things that annoy me. I annoy, what annoys me is people bragging, like on Snapchat or Instagram, just bragging. I hate that. Um, I hate when people think they know what they talk, they're talking about. But that's more like a pet peeve, I guess. But when people think they know what they're talking about when they really don't drives me insane. And you know how when you scratch the fork on the plate, ooh, that just makes me cringe. Like, I can't handle that noise. And my sister deliberately does it because she knows it irks me. Favorite animals, dogs and hedgehogs. I know it's weird, but I love dogs and hedgehogs. No specific type of dog. And just a hedgehog. I've always wanted one. My A couple of the girls I go to school with have one. My pets. Okay, so if you've been a subscriber for a long time, you would have known I have two dogs. Max is a dachshund. And Pelucci is a chihuahua. Um, something that worries me. Um, what worries me? I don't think anything really worries me not sure I think failure I think I'm worried of failing like even a test or just like not getting into something like an audition or something like I don't know it, I, I just have this worry of failing like I can't stand I don't like it when I fail <laughs> um an embarrassing moment okay this happened in math class I was in math class, and my teacher told me, she was explaining how to do something on our uh, laptops, and he was like, oh, everyone come up to the um, board, and, like, come up to my laptop and do what I just showed you, and I was like, okay, so I raised my hand, and I was, he's like, Sarah, come up and do it, and I was like, okay, so I, like, press, like, copy, paste, whatever, we were... Oh, it was the screenshot app that we got on. He made us download on our Chromebooks. So I had to screenshot a picture, crop the picture, and then copy and paste the picture uh, into a document. So after I cop uh, copied and pasted, uh, copied the document, I pressed Control V to copy it onto the document uh, onto the like Google document, and his computer shut off. His computer shut off. And he's like, you broke my computer. And I'm the only girl in my math class. I'm the only girl in my math class. And there's like 
seven other guys. And they're all his, it, the crush I was talking about earlier is in this math class, sits behind me. And I was like, oh my God, like, I, and like, he, he shut it again and whatever. Like, he restarted the computer. And I was like, I'm, I had a brace on my knee because it was the when I sprained my knee. So I was like, oh my God, that's so embarrassing. So I'm like, I'm just going to hobble back to my seat. So I'm hobbling. Okay. And the boy who sits behind me that I like, name not going to be said because we're not going to mess with this. And he, he sits behind me, sticks his foot out, trips me. Mind you, I have a brace on my knee, so I go flying into my desk. And then I'm like, thanks a lot, name. And then he goes, oh, you're welcome. And I'm like, and I was like, I was like shocked. Like, why would you trip a girl who's already crippled, you know? Like, I don't know. That was just really embarrassing. Um... Where I work, I don't work. Constantly on my mind, being accepted to college. I already talked about this, but like it's just like a constant thing because like everyone's posting it on Instagram or Snapchat that they got accepted to their college or that they're committing to a school, and I'm like, I just want that to be me. Like, why hasn't any colleges sent me a letter yet? Like every time the mail comes, I'm like, did I get mail? Is there a letter for me? Hold on, let me move this over here. Um, three habits. I have a habit of like, I obviously have tips on, but when I don't have tips on and my nails are <coughs> growing, I have a tendency to pick my nails. I also have a tendency to like, it's not sucking my thumb. It's just like taking my, picking my lip with my thumb like that. The chap lips. I don't know. My mom yells at me all the time. And I have a habit of playing with my hair. Like, doing this. Like, like just doing this in class. Or, like, and talking to someone. Like, just this. I don't know. It's weird. Um, future goals. Obviously, go to college. Graduate college, maybe, like, have a boyfriend in college or something. And then, like, get married, start a family, you know. Have kids, dogs, I don't know. But I feel like that's basic. Like, everyone's like, oh, I want a family, I want a family. I don't know. Um, things I fantasize about. I guess, like, the same thing. Like, having a family, starting a family. Marrying that guy. Finding that dream guy. My prince, if you will. Uh, favorite stores. I like Victoria's Secret. Obviously. I'm wearing Victoria's Secret sweatpants right now, too. Victoria's Secret shirt. Um, I like Macy's, because my mom works there. Um, I like Sephora. It's a makeup store. I guess that counts, right? Uh, favorite food. I like pizza. Chinese food. Um, when I was little, I used to love mac and cheese. I still like mac and cheese, but it's not my favorite. Uh, ooh, I like Taco Bell. Taco Bell's good. I get the power chicken bowl with no beans. Um, what I did yesterday. I woke up. I went to school. After school, I got my nails done. They're just matte red with, like, metallic. And then, I went to the mall for dinner, had Chinese food, got my Dunkin', and then I watched YouTube videos, and then I watched a movie, and then I went to bed. Um, talented at. A lot of people think I'm talented at dancing, because I, I dance sometimes. Uh, I'm a dancer. Um, I think I'm talented at singing, though. I'm in, like I said, choir school, musical. So, yeah. If you're in Paramus, New Jersey, December 21st at 7 o'clock at Paramus High School is the Winter 
concert. It's my last winter concert because I'm a senior, so you guys should totally come. I'll put a link, not a link, I'll put it in the description box if you're wondering. I'll put, like, the address, I guess. Um, perfect date. Um, I think a perfect date would be, like, going to the movies, maybe going to dinner. I don't know, something really low-key. Like, not, like, Netflix and chill, like, now. Like, just probably go to the movies. Like, the mall or something. <laughs> Nothing too, like, fancy, like, let's go to, like, Applebee's for dinner and have, like, or, like, let's go to Biagio's for dinner and have, like, a five-course meal. Like, no, that's not me. Like, I'm really chill. Um, celeb crushes, honestly. He said the Dolan twins. Um, Cameron Dallas, he's really hot. Um... Uh, Zac Efron, he's hot. Um, I guess that's it. But the Dolan twins, they count as two people. So, I guess four. Um, a photo of myself. Hold on, I have to get one. I think I have one over here. I got it's a Polaroid of me when I went to the beach this is from two years ago that's me um favorite youtubers I like a lot of um I like the Dolan twins I like um like a lot of beauty youtubers like Manny MUA Jacqueline Hill Laura Lee, Jeffree Star, those are the ones I mainly watch. Oh, Nikki Tutorials, love Nikki Tutorials. Um, Nicole Concilio, she's really good. James Charles. Um, and then I watch like little mainstream YouTubers. Sometimes I watch mine. Oh my god, that's so conceited. Uh, number of kids I want. I want two or three. I already have, like, some names. Like, I want, like, if I have a girl, I want it, like, Jenna Rose, because I have a cousin named Jenna Rose. But I, for my girl, I like the name Kendall. So, like, Kendall Rose. And I really like Madison Rose. Um, and I like for boys, like, name them after my dad and my brother. So, like, William Michael would be one. Or, like, James. Because my dad's name was William James. So I'd probably have a son named James. Well, like, I like the name Lucas. I like that name. Um, do I drink or smoke? Currently, no. But I'm not saying I never will. But currently, no. Um, favorite makeup brand? Tarte. I love Tarte. I have a little palette contour palette that I always use and then I have this eyelash curler from Tarte. I also really like Colourpop. They're really affordable and I got these two as like a set. Like I think this was like $10 or something. 10 or 15 dollars and then i got this for free but these are original the palettes are i think between 15 to 20 dollars and this is the i love Suri cheeky one and then this is the super shock shadow in the shade birthday cake so i like tarte and um Colourpop. I also like um, Morphe. I have the Morphe 35O palette. And I'm probably going to get the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe one. Sorry, my camera moved. So yeah, those are a couple of my favorite makeup brands. And that's it. That was the last question. 
So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. And leave in the comments below any of the answers to these questions. And um, also comment what um, videos I should film next. Because I have a couple videos on my notes on my phone. About a couple videos I want to film. But you guys should totally leave comments because these videos are for you guys. So, I'll see you next time, guys. Love you.